Welcome to the demonstration of the USIWSC framework, a framework for supporting an interactive web service composition. A web service composition is the process that orchestrates or choreographs a set of web services in order to implement a business process. An example of a web service composition is the purchase order process. In this process, a set of services are orchestrated to select a product, calculate its price, select a shipper, and finally handling the payment of the order. Several initiatives have been conducted to provide languages that allow the description of the control flow and the data flow of a web service composition. Nowadays, BPEL has been adopted by industry as a de facto standard for the description of the execution of a service composition. This language expresses the web service composition process in a fully automated way. Users are not able to interact with the web services until the end of the process execution. For example, manager is not able to select manually a shipper. A customer is not able to choose a product mode to have the intermediary price of the product or to cancel the process execution. However, many web service composition scenarios require user interactions. To deal with this limit, we propose the USIWSC framework. This framework has three major key features. First, the expression of user interactions by using an extension of BPEL called UIBPEL. Second, the generation of an adapted user interface for the composition as well as an adapted web service composition. The generated user interface supports multi-role, multi-context, and multi-modality. In the generated composition, web services can be selected based on the user context. The generated user interface and the generated composition is fully compliant with the BPAL standard and the UZXML language. Finally, the management of the coordination between the control flow of the composition and the navigation flow of its user interface. In the rest of this demonstration, we describe step by step these three key features. Let's begin by the expression of user interactions. To describe the user interactions in the web service composition, UZWSC framework uses the UI BPEL designer. This tool is developed as an Eclipse plugin based on the Eclipse BPEL designer. UI BPEL designer allows the creation of an interactive composition using the UI BPEL language. This language extends BPEL with additional elements in order to describe the different types of user interactions. The user interaction activities are the main extension of the UI BPEL language. These activities allow expressing the user data interactions using the data input UI activity, data output UI activity, and the data selection UI activity. To illustrate the UI BPEL user interaction activities, let's consider the scenario of the purchase order process. In this scenario, a customer is required to provide the in order information at runtime. To express this interaction, the data input UI activity is used. This activity specifies the data items of the order like the customer name and product as well as the user role. Another example of the UI BPEL activities is the data selection activity that expresses the fact that a shipment manager should manually select a shipper from a list of available shippers. And so on, the different UI BPEL activities are used to graphically define the purchase order process. Note that the UI BPEL designer allows providing an XML presentation view of the composition. This view is fully synchronized with the graphical view. The second key feature of the UZWSC framework is the generation of an adapted user interface for the composition as well as an adapted web service composition. From a UI BPEL definition, the UZWSC framework generates an adapted user interface for the composition in two steps. First, a transformation tool generates an abstract user interface that describes a user interface independent to any modality and independent to user context. Second, the generated AUI is transformed at runtime to a concrete user interface that is adapted to a specific user context. This concrete interface is in interpreted by the user's devices. The UZWSC framework describes the generated abstract and concrete user interfaces by using the UZXML language. This language is a good candidate to become the standard of the user interface description. For this reason, the framework uses a UZXML tool to generate a concrete user interface based on the context. 
let's get a look about how the UZWSC framework generates an abstract user interface from a UI BPAL definition. The UZWSC framework allows generating an abstract user interface for the purchase order process by transforming the UI BPAL definition to the UZXML abstract user interface model. Each UI BPAL user interaction activity of the purchase order is transformed into an abstract component, which can be an input abstract component and an output abstract component or an abstract trigger that allows the raising of a user event so that the multi-context and the multi-modality is supported. In addition, the abstract transformation tool generates an abstract user interface for each UI BPAL role so that the multi-role is supported. The UZWSC framework also allows adapting the composition to user context. For this reason, the definition of the web service composition is done in two steps. An abstract interactive composition is first defined, which is independent to any concrete web service. An executable web service composition is then generated by selecting the web service that are involved in the composition based on the user context. Finally, the composition is executed using a web service composition engine that orchestrates the control and the data flows of the web service composition. To be compliant with the BPAL standard, the UZWSC framework deploys a UI BPAL process as a specific BPAL process so that any BPAL engine can be used to execute the interactive web service composition. Let's take a look about how the UZWSC framework generates a BPAL process from a UI BPAL definition. The UZWSC framework allows generating a specific BPAL definition of the purchase order process from the UI BPAL definition. This specific BPAL process invokes the web services that are predefined in the UI BPAL process as well as a particular web service that implements the UI BPAL user interaction activities. The third key feature of the UZWSC framework is the management of the coordination between the control flow of the composition and the navigation flow of its user interface. This coordination is ensured by a user interface manager. This manager routes the data between the BPAL engine and the user devices. To illustrate the user interface manager, let's consider our scenario of the purchase order process. When the purchase order process requires the order information from the customer, the engine suspends the execution of the process and sends a message to the manager. When the manager receives the message from the engine, a concrete user interface corresponds to this data interaction is generated. This concrete user interface is adapted to the smartphone device of the customer. Through this user interface, customer can receive the notification of user interaction requests. He can see the data interactions required by the purchase order process. Customer can perform the required data interaction by providing the order information and validating his input. If the customer provides and validates the order information, the manager returns this provided data to the BPAL engine. The engine resumes the execution of the process until the next selection interaction. For this interaction, a user interface for the shipment manager is generated. This user interface is adapted to the desktop device of the shipment manager. Through this user interface, the shipment manager can interact with the purchase order process by seeing the different interactions to perform and by selecting a shipper. When the UI manager receives the selected shipper from the shipment manager, the execution of the process is resumed until the next interaction. Because the next interactions are successive and concern the same customer, these interactions are grouped. The customer receives the notification of user interaction that concerns two data interactions, an output data interaction that presents the product price to the customer, and a selection data interaction that allows the customer to select a payment method either by cash or by credit card. If the customer selects a payment by cash, the process calculates a discount. Finally, the bill is shown to the customer through this adapted interface. For more information about the UZWSC framework, please do not hesitate to visit the framework website. Thank you for your attention.